everyone please rise for the national anthem. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight or the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming and the rocket's red glare the bombs bursting in air gave proof through the night that our flag was still there oh say does that star spangled banner yet wave or the land of the free and the Thank you all so much. Enjoy the rest of the night. Please welcome the Nassau County Film Commissioner, Vice President of the Long Island Film TV Foundation, one of the founders of life, writer, director, producer, casting director, and author, Deborah Markowitz. Life screened 128 short and feature length independent films from all over the world. We welcome filmmakers from Austria, France, Italy, all of the United States, and many from right here on Long Island. We had panels on screenwriting, film financing and distribution, alternative financing, our filmmakers' breakfast panel, meet the film festival director's panel, our studio tour, director's audition session, and much, much more. There's quite a way to bring in the 19th year. Uh, life is a filmmaker community, and it takes a community to run life. And there are so many people to thank, so I'll let the scroll do it for me. This is our 19th year, and uh, I am so proud of everything we've shown. Uh, my wife Ann and I have uh, owned this theater since 1986, 
and it's been around, I believe, since 1909. That's what my sister tells me because she looks up all the information on the internet. So uh, this little place on the outside looks very simple, but the talent that comes off the stage, as proven tonight, thank you so much, and on this screen is amazing. So I just want you to know tonight is about the filmmakers. It's all about the filmmakers all week. Uh, this process starts in October of last year. We watch hundreds of films. I'm proud to say we're one of the few festivals that still watch all the films. And, um, and we've chosen this, this program. So when I say filmmakers, I mean everybody from the actors to the writers to the editors to the directors to the cinematographers and so on. You're all welcome here tonight to celebrate your work. I want you to have a good time. And uh, back to Debbie. Thank you. So, our host, uh, we are welcoming back for, for many years now, several years he's come here. He's a comedian, an actor who won the 15th Annual Screen Actors Award for his portrayal of Dot Com on NBC's 30 Rock, opposite Tina Fey, Alec Baldwin, and Tracy Morgan. Before his breakout role, he owned the Uptown Comedy Club, a club and TV show that broadcasted on New York's Fox 5, Fox 5 Network for four seasons. He managed and taught some of the most successful comedians who regularly appeared on the Uptown Comedy Club stage, such as J.B. Soothe, Curb Your Enthusiasm, Flex Alexander, UPN's One on One, Tracy Morgan, and many more. He can be seen in this year's life film, Stuff, written and directed by Suzanne Guasi. Please welcome Kevin Brown. Well, thank you, sir. Let's work together and make Long Island great again! Yes! That's what we're here to do tonight. <laughs> Make all Island. Is that Long Island's already great. Is Long Island already great? Is Long Island already great? This is the 19th. What's that? What's that? Four more years. Four Thank you, sir. <laughs> Thank you. But before I start reading the speech, I must say I did not write any of it. Oh my God. It was written by someone else. <laughs> You know, I heard, I heard probably the dumbest thing I heard all day earlier today. We had a, we had a Q and A for our honoree. We saw a great documentary for our honoree. And uh, so I'm gonna, give, I'm gonna give a quick shout out. Give it up for our honoree tonight, uh, uh, Mr. Ed Asner in the house. <laughs> had an amazing documentary called My Friend Ed, right? Time, sorry, <laughs> <laughs> he said he voted for me 10 times. We had an amazing, amazing documentary uh, called My Friend Ed, and then we had a Q&A after, and I heard probably the dumbest thing I've heard in my, in, this week, not, not, well, what's today? Okay, this is the second dumbest thing I heard this week. Uh, I was asking Mr. Asner uh, a series of questions, and one of the questions I asked was, do you still vote? And someone in the audience yelled out, that's a stupid question. And the first thing that ran through my mind was, you know, I can hear you, right? <laughs> we were right here on stage. She thought it was a movie and she was talking to the screen or something. And I just want to say there's no such thing as a stupid question, all right? You might not like my answer. There can be many stupid answers, but the only stupid question is the question that's not asked, all right? Uh, now, that being said, we're in a climate where there's a lot of stuff going on in our country. Uh, a lot of controversy, a lot of, a lot of political maneuvering, and a lot of tragedy. And before we go any further, I want to acknowledge the, the people whose lives were tragically lost at, you, name, you can name the location, you can, pick a, you can pick a state, you can pick a city. Doesn't matter what state it was, it doesn't matter what city it was, but, uh, all of the, the, the lives that were unnecessarily lost was tragic, sad, ridiculous, unfortunate. I hope we stop. And I just wanna give a moment of silence for the lives that we lost as Americans and as citizens of uh, this great country.
Okay. Now, that being said, uh, I don't know what God you pray to, but uh, I hope you pray to your God and, and um, wish that we all come together as a, as a country and stop all of that. All right? Now, I also, I also have to say that I'm a professional comedian, ladies and gentlemen. So uh, as, the, as, the, as the night warms up, you know, we're going we gonna to get to the funny. But tonight we are here to celebrate films filmmakers, film actors, film producers, and the film community, not only here in Long Island, but now internationally, right? So give it up for all our filmmakers, and film producers, and film promoters. Look at the screen, look at the, look at the stage, look at the stage. The stage is evolving every year. That means you're getting the big checks now, Deborah. The stage is evolving. We had a mini concert here. And uh, we have these statues here, look like uh, Long Island Emmy Awards, <laughs> right? You notice the arms are cut off, that's the Long Island part. <laughs> I'm kidding, I could have been any place. I could have been the Bronx, I'm from the Bronx, could have been. <laughs> Bronx in the house, Bronx in the house, anybody? <laughs> Is that how we cheer in the Bronx? <laughs> he said, uh. <laughs> All right, so ladies and gentlemen, but the point, the point I want to uh, emphasize is this is a celebration. It's a festival, it's a celebration, and I would like to advise or recommend that everyone leave their egos at the door, leave, throw their egos back out on the sidewalk. We're gonna have a real good time tonight. We want to celebrate the accomplishments of all of these great filmmakers, all of these young up-and-coming filmmakers. And if you have some negative energy, please, please, please keep it to yourself. All right? So, yes, yes, yes. So, all that being said, I'm going to try to keep the show on schedule. I don't know, what, I don't know how we're looking on schedule, but we're going we're gonna to run this like a tight, tight well-oiled machine tonight, right? A lot of, lot, of, um, lot of great artists, a lot of great presenters tonight, so let's get this one started.